My name is Connor Sullivan, uh, here in Pasco, Washington on Sullivan Farms. We grow apples, apricots, cherries, and just recently peaches and nectarines. I think I started working on the farm when I was 10 years old. Anything from sorting bad cherries out of the bin to swamping and hucking boxes into the, bin, into the full bins for rain ears. I remember doing that for quite a few years up until probably middle school. Then when I was about 15, I started driving tractor. I remember driving tractor was kind of a big deal. That was something that you kind of aspired to want to do as you were younger. And I had already decided by then that I wanted to pursue a degree in agriculture. That's what I wanted to do. I was comfortable with farming and I was interested in it. I wanted to see more and learn more. So I went to WSU and I got my degree in agriculture technology and productions management as well as business management. Went through my four years at WSU and I came back. Within a year of being back, I had purchased my own farm with my cousin and now it's a learning process, I would say. <laughs> I know, I think labor, food safety, and disease control are probably gonna be the three main things that affect us as growers and are gonna kinda decide if we make it or what we gotta change to make it. Food safety is a tough one. I think not understanding the process and what they want out of it, but as far as getting it across to your employees, I think that's the hardest part and controlling it in the field. So it's important to take the time to teach them about that and teach them the right processes and how to go about things within the field during a harvest setting. Currently, we're transitioning our 60 acres of apples, apricots, peaches, and nectarines to organic. This is our first year of transitional farming and practices. Going into it, we did a lot of research on it. We knew, well, we kind of knew what we had to do. <laughs> now, after this first year, I can say we know what we have to do, and it is, it's hard. It's a big change. Um, I know the organic market is kind of a big deal right now. It's pretty huge on the consumer mind. Everyone is talking about organic food. That's what they want to buy when they go to the grocery store. They want to know what's been put on their produce and they want to know how it's been farmed for the past year before they eat it. And I think there's a lot of benefits. We're, well, as far as herbicides go, we're putting a lot less herbicides in the soil, which is hence increasing the biological activity in the soil, which thus far should help with the growth of the tree and producing. Um, it's a little more input as far as foliar sprays, more than we've noticed <laughs> or thought about, I guess. Um, that's been hard for us, so we're trying to find different measures that we can use to kind of combat the different pests that we're dealing with and the different um, diseases. So right now, the first year of transition, I would say the first three years in your transition period are the toughest because you're paying for putting in those organic inputs but you're receiving back conventional prices so the margin there is a little off it's a little askew for the first three years hopefully we can continue with organic and that's going to be how we farm from now on and hopefully it works for us there's not very many young farmers in the industry that i see it's a lot of people my dad's age, 50 to 60, you know, and I think it's important that my generation needs to step up and if they're interested, they need to get into it. It takes a lot of hard work. Um, a lot more goes into it than people expect and when you're first getting started, it's scary. It's hard to think about, wow, I'm gonna buy this farm, like I'm gonna have all this responsibility now and how am I gonna do that? And you gotta make sure ends meet and you can at least meet break even and ideally you're going to make some money so I think the industry is huge there's so many possibilities you can be a grower you can be a field rep you can be in the chemical industry there's so many different aspects of farming it's not just being a grower 